Welcome back to the Wormhole, everyone, your number one place for entertainment and fun. I'm Sean. And I'm Gwen. And we're here with our Pokemon card video. We are checking out the pre-release of Paradox Rift. So we got a few cards here. This is what we kind of pulled, and these are some of the promos. Yeah. Although, to be fair, these bottom two aren't actually the promos. They're just, uh, but they're what the promos would be. Yeah, so it was... Functionally. In the first <laughs> tournament, we both pulled Zatu, and then in the second tournament, we both got Chiyu. So, yeah. <laughs> um, great cards, to be honest, but, um, and what was cool was Iron Bundle and Aegislash were in both of these decks, so we kind of got a little bit of a taste of each, so that was really nice. Yeah, we both got the same promos, but we got different decks. So yeah. that was weird, because I've never had a pre-release where we got like noticeably different decks with the same promos. And it was cool to see two, functionally, two of the promos in each deck a little bit. Cause yeah, I loved, the, I loved these promos. They were really great. They felt very balanced. And then we opened four packs each. Yes. And I believe you pulled the Roaring Moon EX, and I got the Hoopa EX. Yeah. So. Uh, a little bit mixed results on what I heard about for pull rates, so I'm excited to see how this goes, but yeah. Yeah, out of all the pull rates, I felt like this was the most like average of the booster bundles. You can go ahead and get Oh, I'm cracking. getting there. Trust me. But like uh, a lot of, like, I didn't see anybody hit anything that was like an insane chase card, but I also no. feel like there's so much. There's uh, 84 secret rares. There are. So there's so much kind of to chase that it's hard to... Uh, you know, kind of be like, oh, this one card is the one. Like, it's easy when there's a Charizard. It's like, oh, <gasps> oh, that's adorable. Let's look more. That's a lot of text. Okay, so many different items and like trainer cards and oh, uh, yeah, see. technical machines. That Those was were crazy. Very cool. They they're returning after I don't even know how many years. It's been a long time. Yeah, I've never. I didn't know what they were. They were like, so you basically get like a. They have a different effect. Reminded me of the scrolls from Rapid Strike. A little bit. Yeah, they're single use attacks. Yes, and they have to be used that turn that you attach them. You can't like just, oh, I love that Wiglet. <laughs> you can't just like leave it on. You have to, they get discarded at the end of the turn. Yeah, there's right one there. right there, Devolution. So, yep, so yeah, you can devolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest, yeah, that's, uh, you put all the evolutions into their hand and you can actually knock them out with the damage. Technically, if you have existing damage, that's, that's more. That's insane. I didn't even think the, about yeah, that. Yeah, so if they have 80 damage, they have 130 health, devolve it, and they only have 80 on their pre evolution, boom, dead. Wow. Yeah. There's that Age of Slash. And Ooh, what do we got? All right, uh, a Grass Frost Last. That's cool. So Terrastalize EX there on the first one, and a little Grass Energy to go yeah, with it. Yeah, I like that. Sorry, I'm tossing a code card up there for you guys. To do. But this was probably one of, if not the best, pre releases. I've ever gone to. And I know it's, I haven't gone, we haven't gone to that many, but We've um, this been... one was honestly just the most fun. Yeah. Like we... it's super balanced. Everybody felt, it just felt, I don't know, it, the energy there was, it just felt good. <laughs> I don't yeah. really describe it. And I, and I wonder too, I don't know, it's almost like, I feel like we've all been going for a while, so like people are starting to get familiar. And oh, look at that, Mouse Hold EX. Yeah, you're winning. Yeah, look at that, Nom Nom Incisors. You get to draw two cards. A little nibble. It's just like the last couple ones have felt a little rough, a little bracive might be a good term. Yeah, like it just wasn't balanced really well, so it wasn't fun. Like some yeah. people had really powerful ones and then some people really had like nothing good. Mm -hmm. And this time around it felt, ooh, that's a cool Palkia. Cool but uh, this time it felt like everybody was a lot more balanced, had a lot more fun with it. But um, I was surprised just because I wasn't really sure I, like what to expect to pull in this one because ooh, a brute bonnet oh speaking of this oh yeah let's talk a little bit about these ancient and uh future pokemon i like that as an introduction um they have special tools i think sada has she pulls specifically for ancient pokemon oh yeah. okay that what well, <laughs> hello somebody there had uh one of their packs uh one of the cards was upside down so, oh yeah here it is those that special items. yeah so one. Iron Moth. Ooh. So Iron Moth I saw, I had in one of my decks, and I never really got a use for it, but you, when you switch it into the active, you can move as many fire energies from your other Pokemon to it. Blindside. This attack this does one a got 100 me. damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon has any damage counters to it. So That's I, ridiculous. I played, so I evolved my Aspartha, and yeah. Aspartha has an ability where you can't attack it. Ooh. If you evolve it this turn, oh, oh yes! Look at Porygon the little hat. Z. I literally didn't even know this one was in here. 
Oh, I love that. That is awesome. So, um, and it lets you. So, um, oh my god, that's really cool. That's a that's a wonderful card. Yeah. So, um, the full list is out online. So, like, we'll have a link to Pokey Beach as like a full. A uh, list of all the cards that are out and stuff, but I honestly don't even know what all of them Ooh, are. Glycopod EX. I liked Glycopod, the regular card, much better than this one. I. You mentioned that. It, it does 20 damage for each card your opponent is holding in their hand. Yeah, that one was pretty cool. Uh, I did try to use that a little bit, but my opponent only had one card in their hand, and they had the Altaria EX that heals 20 damage. So they just kept healing the 20 damage off every turn. I was like, dude! That, that happened to me <laughs> as well, but it was, um, I thought he had set his hand down, but he just didn't have anything in his hand. Yeah. And I was like, you don't have anything in your hand? He was like, no. I was like, I guess I don't do any damage. I thought he had set it down. Oh, man. Yeah. I look like a big dummy. <laughs> That's okay. It happens, for sure, because sometimes, like, especially in these pre-releases, you lose Ooh, track. radar. Oh, that's cool. You lose track of like what some of the new effects and stuff are, and it's kind of like, like the Aegis Slash uh, doesn't take damage from EX cards or yes, V cards. which is nice, but I felt like it was the one that took it, like, that one wasn't the best one to get during the pre-release because nobody was really playing. Yeah, nobody had a lot of EXs or anything. It saved my butt. Turbo Energize, search your deck for two basic energy cards. That's actually pretty cool. Now, mind you, when you use the technical machines, it's considered like an attack, so it ends your turn. Yes. It's not like an item, so you can't use multiple. Ooh. There we go. But yeah, I'm like I said, the one thing about this, I just knocked the camera, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> the one thing I'm worried about with this set is pull rates for sure. You know, I that's what I heard a little bit, but- Yeah, I have poopy luck with this. And that's exactly what I'm saying, is I haven't gotten anything yet. Yeah, well, I mean that, Spot. That was you. I know, but I mean, you know, you'll, you'll watch. You'll end up getting like a Charizard that's not even in the set. Oh yeah, <laughs> That'd be the funniest thing. There's a really cool Steelix, uh, full art card that we yeah that I saw. He, he's on a construction site. But yeah, I mean, this definitely. I if I'm like I'm like a borderline gonna play the game again. Like yeah. that's how much I like this. This was a lot of fun. A lot of new mechanics. So it was kind of a, oh there you <laughs> go another go Oh well, I guess I pulled that. What was it was just all around a lot of fun. There, at one point, someone that we were there with was like, oh this is the card I'm trying to pull, and she showed us a picture on her phone. And like the very next pack she opened, she pulled that card. Yeah, it that was, was like, really funny. Ooh, oh, man. another mouse hold. There you go. That's interesting. There's some pull rate magic for you. Two Golisopods, two mouse holds. I don't know about <laughs> magic is a strong word, right. but probabilities. Yeah. But I oh, did know. Elekid uh, was another good oh, one. Oh, I used Elekid. You, um, my opponent didn't have any energy to retreat out. So I just sat there and tanked like 30 damage a turn off his bench Pokemon. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, there's also a Magby, the both of which I think I think I know the Magby has an alt art that looks really cool. I didn't see one for the uh, Ella kid. kid, but ooh, oh, this is the more Pico. I heard people talking about this one. So this is a little hungry. He's, if the energy, if he has uh, no energy attached, no retreat cost. That's always fun. And anything else? Nope, just Deoxys. Oh man, you are crushing it. Oh, the plus one minum cards—they're just adorable. Oh, those were cool too. I know the Iron Valiant is like gonna be like the big, I think yes. the big chase card for this set. Well, and the Iron. Oh my goodness! Oh, Serena Yang. Take that. Ooh, and Water Terrastalize. That's cool. The uh, Roaring Moon as well is yeah. going to be a meta. Oh. Oh yeah. So. You want to talk about that attack a little yeah, bit? Yeah. So this one, um, he has frenzied gouging and for two darkness and a colorless you just knock out your opponent's Pokemon, but it does 200 damage to yourself. So you have to like. You gotta be careful about that. But he also does uh, 100 plus 120 if there's a stadium in play. Sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, well, we were talking to the uh, Pokemon professors that were there a little bit, and it really seems like the ancient Pokemon do a lot of damage to you and to themselves, and the future Pokemon are a lot about like movement of cards and Pokemon. It's drawing. like control and stuff. Yeah. Interesting. So it's kind of like glass cannon versus like technical play. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it feels. Okay, Flamadarius. Which makes sense because... It feels because... very strategic almost in a way. Like, you, you have yeah. to... I don't know. It feels like a lot of variety. Oh, well, yeah. I'm really digging this set. It's, uh, I've been kind of drifting away oh, from the elegant. game. Yeah. I've been kind of drifting away a little bit from the card game. Because it's always the same three decks. It's just... It, something about it just hasn't felt all that fun. 
Yeah, the meta's been kind of uh, stagnant. It feels like this has a chance to really throw things up. Shaking things up a bit. Yeah, and oh yeah, Mantike's a good one. Oh yeah, there's... Heals 120 damage from one of your bench Pokemon. That's actually pretty good for free. For free. I'm a big fan. Come on. Chi once more. I liked the Chi Yu, so the Chi Yu I used a lot. When your when your Pokemon gets knocked out, it does an extra 90 damage, so you can hit for 140 for two fire Pokemon. Yeah, I definitely had one sit on the bench for a little bit that caught somebody off guard when I switched him in. This is fine, I want to mention this. You noticed because there's so many energy, the like spacing for this is like super far over. And we were like, is that a I thought misprint? it was a misprint. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't seem right. Oh, Parasol Lady. I heard that's going to be a big one. That's yes. like the waifu kind of card for this. Uh, well, for this, it got uh, like an alternate art. Uh, like yeah. On top of like the, or it wasn't the full art. It was like another one, but it was like really pretty, like very undeservingly pretty for what it was. I feel like it's a little overrated, but I prefer the Rika alt art card. Um, oh, yes. And uh, That's my waifu for this, this yeah. set. <laughs> I like her. Yes. There. But yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm excited to kind of see Spenda. more of the trainers. I didn't notice as many supporter cards that I was interested in no. as I have in previous sets. But uh, it was a lot more of the item cards. Items. This cards. felt very item heavy. There were a few energies I didn't notice. It was like a... Oh, there you go. That's the little companion. Oh my gosh. Okay, two more packs left. Yes, I got, I got three. So you're only a little ahead of me. Well, I start Ooh, first. So I like Miltank. I, like, I do like Wimpod. This cape. So this cape, if you attach it to a Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box, they get 100 HP. But if they get knocked out, the opponent gets two prizes. So it's like you can turn a really strong, like, ancient Pokemon into basically almost like a, like a small EX or a V. And they're actually pretty tough. Oh! <gasps> Look at the Wimpod! Oh, I love Wimpod. I, I just that. wish... I wish Galissapod was better just in like the games. Oh, that's a cool champ, Yeah, so let's. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Oh, we'll pop that there real fast. Okay, good. That's all good. <laughs> Nothing interesting yet. I liked Wimpod just because it led up to that Galissapod that won me. Yeah, I won four out of six. I did the best this time, so maybe I'm a little biased, but this is definitely <laughs> my favorite. Yeah, you definitely seemed like you were having a lot of fun and like you get the hang of the hang of it a little bit more. And it definitely felt like everything was more fair with it being more. Uh, Everything was more balanced. Gimme Ghoul and Golden Golden Goldengo. Golden Go? <laughs> You're close. Uh, they they also have uh art cards that stack up to make a bigger picture. It's yes, cool. I love that they're doing that. Ooh, uh, fighting toxtricity. That's cool. So it's a fighting type that uses electric energy. Yeah, that's that's cool. Strange. Alright, last pack. Let's do this. Ooh. Man, you crushed it. I, you know what? It was just it's it's just how the how the packs got split. <laughs> I know. No. Zacian, uh, Zacian made a comeback. A lot of legendaries in the hollows in this set. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. All right, last pack magic. Come All on. Right. Big bucks, no whammies. Here we go, guys. Here we go. And Ooh. no, just a Zekrom. Oh, Zekrom, interesting. I didn't even know he was in this set either. There we go. Well, all right, that was awesome. Yeah. So all together, man, that was a lot of fun. We got to take a look at a lot of stuff, talk a little bit about the meta and everything. Anybody we did see there that might be watching, I want to say thank you. We appreciate seeing you guys. It's always a lot of fun. Absolutely. Anybody we might see at any future pre-releases, we hope to see you there. But this was awesome. November 3rd is... I think it's the third. Is it third? We'll yeah. check. And so I think that's Par uh, Paradox Rift. Okay. Can't wait to check it out in full. We should be getting the uh, Pokemon Center ETBs to look at yes. with those stamped promos. Oh, Scream Tail be super and Iron cool. Bundle, yes. Yep. Oh, also, a little side note, I'll try and take like a picture or a side video or something, but we won a uh, raffle with one of the big cutouts. Yeah. <laughs> from Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, so, very, very interesting uh, little tournament today. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we could share this with you guys, crack open some packs with you all. We'll keep you all updated with all the newest information. We'll have some links to the current set list of stuff that's been released so far of the artwork of the uh, secret rares for this set. But all in all, thank you guys so much. And you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, we'll see you in the next one.